Hi guys, welcome to my channel. On today's tutorials, I'll be showing you how I made this vegetable soup. If you are interested, let's get straight into it. But before then, if you have not subscribed to my channel, please do well to subscribe to my channel, turn on your post notification bell, like this video, share and comment. To my returning subscribers, I say thank you very much. I appreciate all of you. Guys, let's dive straight into it. Necessary condiments needed for this recipe are our perinkles, ap arata, this will serve as a thickener to our soup, seasoning cube, Cameroon pepper, salt, palm oil, dry fish, fresh green peppers, crayfish, stockfish, snails, cow skin, also known as kanda. Here is our ugu leaf vegetable, also known as pumpkin leaf. Some fresh water leaves. And finally, our ozuza leaf. In an empty pot, I have my, my beef. Next, I'll go in with my stockfish. I'll go in with my stockfish because they have almost the same cooking time. Next, I'll go in with my cow skin. I'll go in with my cow skin like so. And then I'll go in with some salt. Salt to taste, please. Careful. Then I'll go in with some salt to taste. I'll go in with some salt. Finally, I'll go in with some Cameroon pepper. Like so. Then I'm going with a little bit of water. Very little water. Be careful with water so that your, <laughs> your soup won't come out too watery. So here is the quantity of water we need. And I'll cover this up and let it cook for a few minutes. While we have our meat boiling, it's time to go in with our snail. So I'm just going with our snail at this point. And next, we'll go in with our dry fish as well. This is the best time to go in with them because I don't want them to get too soft. Yes, they are not supposed to. To be too soft so while i've done that i'll give it a little more time to cook and as well i'll go in with my seasoning cube i'll go i'll season it with my seasoning cube because virtually it's almost time and then some palm oil i like to go in with my palm oil at this point because i want it to have enough time to cook yeah my palm oil has to i don't want it to taste too raw so that's basically the reason why i like to go in with it at this point so while i've done that i'll give it a gentle stir just stir that up and then i'll cover as well so i'll cover this to cook for a few more minutes our proteins have been on heat for a few minutes now and it's time to go in with my periwinkles also known as isam now while i've done that i'll just stir that to incorporate with each other to incorporate with each other so at this point I'll go in with my pepper mix. I'll go in with my pepper mix. So in here, I have my pepper, crayfish, and obey. So I'll go in with my pepper mix like so. To incorporate with everything. My soup is thick enough though, but I still want to go in with my 
thickener, my apparatus, because it just gives me, there's a different flavor that comes with it as well. So you could choose to skip that if you don't like it, but I do, so I'll go in with just few quantity, just a little quantity of it. So for those of you that don't know what apparatus looks like, this is what, this is basically what apparatus looks like. So I'll just go in with little quantity, very little though. I won't be going in with all of it because my soup is thick enough. So while I've done that, I'll just give it an awesome stir. I'll stir to combine. I'll stir to combine. So you see how, how thick this apparatus I just got your back. So when you visit it, your your fiance or your boyfriend don't embarrass yourself just make sure you go with some thickener so in case they soon start doing what you don't understand you just go in with your thickener and everything will be good it will cover you up <laughs> anyway so when i've done that i'll go in with my with some meat stock my leftover meat stock i'll go in with my leftover meat stock like so and then stir some more to combine. Now I'll let this cook for a few more minutes before going with other ingredients. At this point, I trust you're enjoying the video. So please do well to subscribe. Turn on your post notification bell to be notified when i post special and amazing recipes like this like this video share and comment so guys our protein has been on heat for a few minutes now and i just introduced my uziza leaf yeah i'm trying to incorporate my uziza leaf so while i've done that i will go ahead to introduce my water leaf I noticed that the pot was getting small. I noticed the pot was too small for my food, for the soup. So I had to change. I had to change into a bigger pot. So I just introduced my water leaf, and I'll let this come to a boil for a few minutes. Wow. Check this beauty out. Woo! My pot is very busy doing one or two. Anyway, so while we have our water leaf in there doing its thing, it's time to go in with our ugu leaf. So this vegetable soup is uh, just a mixture of different vegetables and proteins as well. So I'll just give this a good stir because I had to go in with this lastly because it doesn't take long to soften and the moment it softens it just changes color so I like to put it last so that my my vegetable soup will still be having that green vibe I don't know if you get uh, so that my vegetable soup will still be having some greeniness Everything has to be green in here. <laughs> ah, so guys, our vegetable soup is finally ready. And wait for the end result. Thanks for watching, guys. Bye.